Morning guys. Well, it rained all night last night, so that's glorious. Um, other than that, I got a pretty good sleep. So today, I haven't yet determined what I want to do, but from what I'm told, there's a trail that goes all the way from the bottom of this fjord all the way to the top. Um, some locals told me about it, so we might have to check that out. Let's go do it. Alright, well, the base camp all set up. Ready to move on out. The mountain's looking pretty daunting. <laughs> but I have a strong feeling it's gonna be well worth it. So I'm gonna go switch out some socks. Because these things are wet as hell. So are these boots. Some of the clothing is wet as hell too. It rained all night. <laughs> but uh, nevertheless, we're still gonna do this. We're gonna have a great time. Alright guys, it's about uh Almost five o'clock in the morning, and we're about to kick off this uh, hike to the top of this mountain. It is beautiful. I tell you what, it is beautiful. The it's raining every now and then, which is why I got the rain jacket on. But it's still going to be beautiful, and I'm starting to see some blue in the sky too, which is a great sign. Because last time I was here, when I flew in. There was like triple layer cloud level. Like there, they had high level clouds, medium level clouds, and low level clouds all going through. The low level clouds are scraping through the mountains. So hopefully this opens up a little bit more. And when I get to the top, hopefully it's not engulfed in clouds. That'd be great. But let's get up there. Uh, and you guys get to watch me suffer in pain. All right, so right before the trail begins, they have a you know, like the usual trailhead uh, information marker. Um, but I guess it's called the Old Road Rimstegen from Communication to Attraction. So basically what they did back in the day, uh, back when farmers used to be here, and there's still farmers here, but for communication they used to go up outside of the, the fjord, up the mountains, and then they'd hike along the top of the cliffs. And... That was the fastest way for them to communicate and sell goods for like whatever they needed. Interesting. Now, if this is their way of climbing up this thing and then, you know, this was like their daily life of climbing up here and selling their goods and trying to communicate with people, I definitely don't want to live back then. <laughs> I know this is gonna suck. Ugh. All right, let's do this. starting to come out a bit. Alright. 
like it made me realize something. I now understand why farmers had so many goddamn children all the time. Because I got tired of hiking up these goddamn mountains. Oh, I'd produce fucking kids. Not to just to not climb this thing like once a week. <laughs> uh, I do it maybe like once a month. The rest of the time, the kids are hiking the whole damn thing. <laughs> yeah. Lift with your kids, not with your back. Why? Why did I tell you guys I was gonna do this? Uh. <laughs> All right, it's starting to rain, so. Yeah, <laughs> that kind of sucks. Uh, I don't know how high we are right now, but pushing through, I think I'm doing all right. It's just really wet right now. Uh. Well, it started raining again, but holy cow. Oh my god. So much work. <laughs> Which means I should be pretty close to the top. It is fucking pissing though. Ah. Alright. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. There's that damn. Mountain pointed out earlier. There's a mountain in the snow. That's one place I won't be going. Huh. I got some like notepad in there.
emergency matches, a wrench, and pens in here. Inside here. It's like a list of names. And, uh, people where they're from. Huh. Let's do this. Put my name in there. Oh. And don't work. Quote in here. Here we are learning to fly with our souls and heart. Holy hell, that's getting nice outside right now. Alright, I need to fucking break out the camera right now. Alright, here we are. About to brush the hell out of this. I think we got it. I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing on that one because there's a lot of fucking rain on the lens right now. <laughs> I'll be taking out all of them dots and everything. Good lord, guys, it is beautiful. up here. I got fucking snow capped mountains over there. You can't even see the top of them because they're so fucking big. You got that freaking river or stream that runs to that waterfall over here. Look at this. I sense a composition coming. <laughs> oh, I don't die. All right, let's see if I can find a picture. All right, it is absolutely chucking it down right now. I fucking hate it. It is cold as hell. I am wet as hell. 
Oh my god, this is looking amazing. I need to take a picture of it. But I can't take a picture of it until the rain stops hitting my lens. Gosh. This is so frustrating, guys. So frustrating. It's getting an amazing picture, too. Ah. Uh, check it out. All right, so I was waiting for the rain, so I started walking off to go see if I could find another composition while I waited for the rain for this one. And then the sun came out. And when the sun came out across, look what it did. Right in my picture. How insane is that? I just need to stop raining and I will be good. guys well that was quite of a, a crazy adventure I mean look how fucking high it is right now look how high I am right now I'm on top of the damn world <laughs> um it rained like hell it's still raining like hell it's absolutely chucking it down and it's cold as hell <laughs> Uh, um, the shots that I got, I think they're going to come out good. I just got to make sure you guys will know by now. I won't know. <laughs> so I'm still kind of depressed about the whole situation. <laughs> um, but man, if it wasn't raining, uh, it would have been so much easier to uh, capture these images. Um, but that's landscape photography for you. You just get what you get. And you, know, you need to take in the moments that you're given the best you can. Because that's all Mother Nature is going to ever give to you, and that's all life is ever going to give to you. Um, but yeah, you guys will know by now if the pictures are good. I sure hope so. God, that rainbow scared the crap out of me when I was like walking away and I saw it. And, <laughs> and I like bolted straight to the camera as fast as I could. We'll have to see. Anyways, this is the rest of this video. I'll see you guys later. Off on some other crazy ass adventure. Here, I'll give you a last look. I was engulfed in this rain and this cold and this cloud and it was miserable and I hated to live up there. It was absolutely miserable. And I just needed to get off that mountain. So when I got down off that mountain and we got down into like the, the, the fjord, it was, the light was amazing and beautiful and I wasn't getting rained down at all. And I think it was just because I was in this rain cloud up on top of the mountain, just engulfed with it. And when I got down, it started getting so many compositions and I got more pictures and more pictures and more pictures and there's a few that I need to show you guys and the reason why it's not on the video is because well this thing the DJI pocket it died by the time uh, because I was camping and it was a long two days and then I was using my cell phone if you can tell um, some of the video on the cell phone is good quality and some of it's bad I prefer the DJI a lot more but uh, for instances like that, you know, it's it's better than nobody at all. So, with that said, 
Let's throw up these pictures. I hope you guys like them. By the way, this picture specifically it turned out amazing because I, I thought it was going to be horrible. There was so much rain on it and so much uh, distortions. It took me, shit, maybe like four hours to edit this thing because I had to take, I took each panorama and each panorama overlapped by about 75% and I did that for a reason because I knew that I would have to take something from the old image and then replace it over the, where the raindrops were. And I wasn't able to get everything out, but I got almost everything out just by doing that. And it worked out great. It took forever, but it is beautiful. And it's, it's probably one of my favorite pictures from this whole trip, to be honest. So um, here it is, guys. I hope you guys like it. Um, and again, I'm sorry, but <laughs> lesson learned, rookie mistake, and we'll, we'll move on from it. Uh, here they are. Look what it's doing. There's a freaking rainbow right there.